So I'm making this video. I don't even know what I'm gonna say. I'm making this video and I'm making a big change, but I wanted to come and talk about why I'm choosing to cut all of my hair off. I, I, I've wanted to cut my hair for a long, long time and I am making a big choice to do it now. There's a lot of stress that I'm feeling, a lot of excitement, but mostly stress. I've had a really, really long history of bleaching and coloring and darkening it and bleaching it again and darkening it and bleaching it and bleaching it. And it's been a whole long thing. Oh my God. There's an Amber Alert, four door sedan. Um, I can't even, I can't even begin to go into the history of my hair because for so long I've used my hair because it's really the only thing that, you know, I mean, if you have money, you can get surgery, but it's the only thing you really have control of. So since I was probably 15 years old, I've been, I bleaching my hair. I went, I bleached my hair and I had a little Zane One Direction stripe for a second. That was a look. I, I, I went blue and I went purple and I went pink. I've done all these different crazy colors. And then when I turned 16, I bleached all of my hair, which absolutely killed my hair. And I think I had bleached it maybe four or five times to get it to like a decent shade because my hair is so dark. So since then it's always been a battle because I've always just wanted long, beautiful hair. And I've never been able to achieve that for reasons of my own fault. So I've been, I've been bleaching and I've been changing it and then I don't like it so then I darken it because I just want to feel pretty and so, so I'll darken it and then, and then I don't like how it looks dark so they, then I bleach it again and it's been, it's been a whole cycle for, I mean, four or five years now that I've been trying to grow my hair out and since the last video that we made you're probably thinking, well you did just cut your hair, why are you going to cut it again? I'm, oh my gosh, all of these people just keep calling. I did cut my hair. And that's cute. But I want to do it again. Because I've always wanted to do a pixie cut. I think it's really, really sexy. And there are a lot of really beautiful women that really embody, like, still a very feminine energy, but with short hair. I think it's so cool. So cool. Cute. I'm really nervous. Because I don't want to look like a boy. And that's my whole thing, is that I've wanted to cut my hair for a long time because of all the shit that I've done to it. Because it's just so dead. Even, even cutting as much as I cut off, it's still, there's still so much breakage and it's still gonna be a long, long process for me. And so I would like to, as opposed to always trying to change my hair and and make me feel feminine by having a new color or, you know, changing it up. I have wigs that I can wear, but my head is too fat and my hair is too thick for it to fit into any of them. So, you know, if I, chop it all off. I, I can just plop on a wig if, I, if I'm not feeling cute, or I can just plop on a wig if I want to do a different look, because I am indecisive, and I do like to change up my looks. But doing that with my natural hair has only been a negative thing for me. So I'm making this change, and I'm very excited. Please wish me luck, dear God. <laughs> few inches later oh my god that's that's crazy I, I didn't even think that you were gonna be here that's wild Last time you saw me, I was nervous and I was feeling scared and uncomfortable. How do you think I'm feeling now? Mm -hmm. That was a bad tongue pop. As you can tell, I obviously cut all my hair off. I'm a bald bitch, but I feel pretty cute. I gotta say, I had a lot of reservations and I had a lot of fears about 
especially with looking like a boy, because the last time that I had had short hair was when I was a boy. So I was very scared and very nervous, but if I'm being honest, I think I'm kind of liking this a little bit more than my long hair. It's kind of a look. I feel like I've, I feel like I'm entering into a new phase in my life and I feel like change is good and I'm really excited, but, um, but yeah, I was, I was very scared that it was just, it was one that it was not going to look good, but two that I was going to gonna be clocked like that but I'm feeling kind of cute how do you how do you think I look <laughs> I feel cute well the whole reason of why I wanted to cut my hair is because well I've always I've just always wanted to do it I think short hair is very sexy but I also I've also done so much chemical damage to my hair that it's never really fully been in a natural state and I'm excited to have my own color come back and and to do all these things but I'm also someday if I choose to grow out my hair if I'm <laughs> if I'm honest like right now like I don't I don't know the short I think it, the short might be a, it might be a look for a while because it's very cute and I feel very sexy I feel very Alyssa Milano in season six of Charmed. Like, mm. uh, uh, I was feeling very scared, but now if I ever choose to grow up my hair, it's gonna be long and healthy and nice. But until I get there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy this because I feel cute. I feel like I look like shit. 